Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Let's open up some Pokemon and talk about Collecticon. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you for checking out the video. I have been extremely busy. Myself and my family are moving halfway across the country uh, in about a month and a half. So there's been a lot of packing, a lot of moving stuff around. Um, we just went to Collecticon, celebrate my birthday today. Thank you for hanging out on my birthday. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over, recap sort of the Collecticon experience. It was my first one. And then I have, you know, some, some fun packs for the menu, uh, you know, for the birthday luck opening. So um, let's get straight into it. Okay, so Collecticon. Initial thoughts are it was overwhelming. It was loud. There was a lot to see, and it felt like there wasn't enough time to see all of it. Now, bear in mind, I have a family, right? So I have a three-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a loving wife, and we all went because obviously my wife is hyped on Pokemon as much as I am, so is my nine-year-old. So my nine-year-old walked in there with her binder ready to trade with every single vendor that would allow her to do it, and man, did she get her hustle on. She was trading, I couldn't even count how many times. She filled up like two pages of a binder just straight off of trades, and that was super cool. Like I was super proud of her, you know, watching her be brave and just walk right up to people and like sort of know what's fair and know what her good cards are and also be able to say no was like really cool to see. Um, that was my honestly my favorite part was watching her. Um, it was really cool to be able to interact with all of the community. Like every vendor had a smile on their face. They were super ready to just talk about Pokemon. Obviously it's a little bit overwhelming and there's a lot of people around some of the booths so some more than others, probably more by chance because they had an opportunity to, to be more personable. I did pretty good. I went in there really only looking for Alakazams. If you guys know me um, and you follow my Instagram or watch any of my YouTube shorts, you know that like that's sort of my primary collection goal at the moment. It's just to sort of get one of every Alakazam. And I walked out with some ones that I don't have. Um, I traded for both of them. Super fun, even trades for each of the cards. It was also really cool I had the opportunity to meet Dan from Catch Em All Collectibles. He was super dope. Um, and then Pokey Chloe was there. I had an opportunity to say what's up to her. Um, she, you know, she met with Leah. She was like, you know, I was telling her how Leah was like killing it in the trades, and she was like very friendly. Everyone was super nice. So it, I mean, really, overall on the experience, it would be like totally recommend it. Just make sure that you allow yourself enough time to sort of see everything, which honestly, even over the course of two days, probably is damn near impossible. But the reality of it is, is that's just sort of the nature of the beast, right? Like it is in a huge convention hall. There were like over a hundred, I forget what the total number of vendors was, but it was something crazy. Um, but super fun, totally recommend it. If you've never done one, go and do it because it's an experience. It's really cool to be in the community and it was super fun, so. All right, so I'll show you the stuff. The, the I, I mean, I got two cards, uh, two Alakazam cards while I was at Collecticon. So the first one is the Reverse Hollow from Expedition, which is super dope. It's okay, it's definitely light play. Um, you can see on the back, like the corners have a little bit of wear around in there, and then there's a little wear up here. The reality of it is, is I'm just going for one of every, uh, like, you know, condition isn't too much of a concern, especially when, you know, we're starting to get up into like the gold star. I walked up to every booth at Collecticon and asked them if they had a gold star Alakazam with no luck, unfortunately. Second was I got the hollow version of Dark Alakazam from Team Rocket. It's first edition. This one's real clean. Um, I traded the Arceus Gold from Crown Zenith for this card, which honestly I don't have any real connection to. It, it was one that I would probably end up just grading and selling anyway, so I would rather put it towards something that I know I'm going to keep that I value. And you can see this one's real clean. Like this one's definitely gradable. Probably got like a nine, maybe I would hope a nine, maybe an eight. But uh, super stoked on my two Alakazams. Again, like they were both traded for. The experience of it was fun. Like I wanted to go in there and trade with some of the vendors and that was a super fun experience. And then in terms of the packs that we're gonna open, all three of these came from the wheels. If you guys have ever been to any kind of convention, you know that most of the, not most, but some of the vendors will have the wheels that you can spin where you you know, give them five bucks, you have a chance to win like a graded card or you know a vintage pack or something. 
So all three of these came from those wheels. So I'm hoping for, in addition to my birthday, some uh, Collecticon luck as well. Almost forgot. But while I was at Collecticon, I wanted to get some packs to actually open. So I got a Lost Origin booster bundle. The guy was selling it on sale. It was like 20 bucks. Went back to the hotel room. Pulled the Rotom V alternate art. Super hype. Almost forgot that. Didn't though. And now we're on to the birthday surprises. As you can see behind me, I need to work on the way that the camera actually focuses on it, but I have the dope neon light Pokeball. Thank you, Sam. Major shout out. That thing is sick. And then I got two uh, booster bundles. I got a Silver Tempest. I got a Lost Origin. And then I also got a Crown Zenith Collector's Box. And out of that Collector's Box, we managed this guy, the Glaceon V-Star. Again, super high, dope card. Definitely one of the chases for a lot of people. And then the real special one for me is this M Alakazam EX from Fates Collide. This was the big present from my wife. And this thing is super clean. Obviously it's a 10, but it is a gorgeous card. And what's funny is, is when she gave this to me, she told me that like about like a month and a half ago, I had gotten one of these raw and she had to like bite her tongue because it was around the same time that she had ordered this. So, <laughs> super cool. Uh, she knows what I'm doing, so she sort of knows what my goal is, is to get a bunch of Alakazams together. So that's super cool. And then in terms of what we're gonna be opening, we got ourselves a Lost Origin Booster Bundle. Let's get into it. I'm excited. I haven't done just like a pack opening in a while. Guys, again, thank you so much for checking out the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I put out content all the time. I'm working on a few videos on the reselling uh, Pokemon in that category. Uh, those are probably my favorite to make, but uh, yeah, I appreciate you checking out the video and let's get straight into this. Um, we'll open the booster bundle first. There's a bunch of stuff I need out of Lost Origin. I'm hoping, obviously, for that Tina, that would be the ultimate. But um, there's a bunch of cards. I, you know, I opened up a ton of Lost Origin, but still a ton of cards to chase. There we go. Birthday luck. Don't fail me now. I'm seeing something peeking on this one. So hopefully we can just start out with a mega banger. Okay, the Enamorous V full art. I would say that's a good start. What about opening Pokemon packs on your birthday? Yeah. Just hits different. Uh, let me know if you guys have ever hit any like super bangers on your birthday. I hope so. We've got the V Star. Really just been enjoying the hobby. I've definitely slowed down a little bit in terms of posting videos so regularly. And again, guys, that's just because life is life is happening. You know what I mean? It, it's just the timing of it. I'm super excited about our move and everybody in the family is as well, but got the Mark Harbin on Holland. All right, here we go. Pack number three. I'll tell you what, after opening up the, the Rotom V, I'm expecting big things out of these uh, booster bundles. I've heard some people say that the hit rate out of the booster bundles isn't as hot as it could be, but I don't know how true that is because I've had pretty good luck. Lost Origin is definitely going to be a set. Got the Arcanine Trainer Gallery. Boom. I do believe uh, Lost Origin is going to be a sought after set later on. I think it has a chance of being reprinted, but long term it'll do well. Pack number four. I'm excited to see the other content creators' uh, Collecticon recaps. Those are I always enjoy watching those. Uh, I know Pokey Chloe told me she was working on one. And she was recording stuff when I was actually talking to her. But it was cool because it didn't feel like I was intruding on anybody, and, and uh, everybody like actually took the time to sort of have a conversation with you while I was there, and that was definite bonus. Got the Volo Trainer Gallery. Pack number five. I saw Gary V there, right? Is that his name? No. 
the king Pokemon, whatever. Um, he, I, you know, I walked by him and it, it, you know, it didn't seem like he was in a place where he was like ready to have a conversation with people. And I get it because he probably goes there and just gets swarmed the whole time he's there. But um, <laughs> let's. Oh my goodness. These, I'm telling you, like, look at this. The Lost Origin Booster Bundles, guys. Like, that's popping. Mew V Max. Gold. <laughs> you still got one pack to go. <sighs> Doing really good here. Um, last pack. Another booster bundle for Lost Origin. Can we do one? Is that possible? Do you believe? I do. I do. I want to say that I do. I like the booster bundles, it's like the perfect amount. Like if you're just looking to like rip some packs, like pff, can't go wrong. Okay, flip plug. Finian, the Pikachu reverse, that's actually dope. And then the Hotch Crow, not hollow. Alright. Let's get into these wheel packs. Alright. Spun the wheel when we were at Collecticon. These are what we came home with. Let's do this. We'll go Crown Z in the first just because we just opened a bunch of Lost Origin. This one is that thick paper. It's really noticeable. I don't know, leave a comment if you guys, it, it, like I don't like the thickness, I'll be honest. Um, I, I'm just not a fan. I like the thin paper. I, it's like a total, like you open too many Pokemon packs thing to even notice that, but it's the truth. Um, check the sides, see if there's anything peeking. Didn't see anything. Doesn't mean that trainer gallery won't be there. Or the Galarian gallery. Oh yeah. The non-textured hollow leaf energy, followed by the double. Wall. Not bad. Alright, Lost Origin. One last shot at the Tina. Can we do it? That would be the ultimate birthday poll. Well, actually, maybe a moon run would be. But not liking that code card. That's okay. It's alright. I'm not upset. Still go to uh, Trainer Gallery. Leafy. Dot Lord. Panic Mask. Seedra. Jinx. Makuita. Bronzor. Lynx. Poliwag. Poliwhirl. Landorus. Alright. It's crazy to say this, but I did save the big guy for last. Who knows? That would be the craziest birthday present ever. Ready to pull that Moonbrion? I am not gonna look at the code card. Don't care to. There we go. Steel. Don't see anything peeking. That's okay. Thank you guys again for checking out the video. Fun hanging out. Leave a comment. If you guys were at that Collecticon, what your favorite part of it was. Crack on all. Smeargle non hollow. And yeah, been a pleasure hanging out with y'all. See y'all in the next one.